First, take out of all items from the package. There are monitor, camera, bracket, power cord, cigarette adapter, video cable straps and T-taps. Pick up the bracket. Follow my operation. Press the ball in and tighten the screws. Pick up the monitor. Align the bracket with the hole on the back of the monitor and snap it in. The bracket can be flexibly adjusted. There is a protective film on the monitor. If the protective film is very clean and does not affect the use, we suggest not to tear off the protective film. Pull up on the green label to remove the protective film. There are three keys sad face. Down, key, and menu, key, plus, up, key. Tear off the protective film on the bottom of the bracket. Pull up the buckle, you can install the bracket on the windshield. Pull down the buckle to fix. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screws. Pull up the buckle, pull the rubber up to remove the monitor. You can also install it on the dashboard. Follow my operation. There are two wires on the monitor extension cable, one AHD1 and the other AHD2. AHD1 for reversing use, AHD2 is suitable for baby monitoring. Pick up the camera. Tear off the protective film on the camera before use. This is a sensor. The holes on both sides of the bracket are used to fix the camera to the seat. The camera extension cable is a 4-pin connector. There is a thin green wire and a thin white wire on the camera extension cable. If you don't want the camera light to turn on, you can cut the thin green line. Cut off the white thin wire. The monitor automatically switches to the normal image mode. Pick up the video cable. This is a DC connector. Connect the, the 4-pin connector on the video cable to the AHD2 channel of the monitor. Connect another 4-pin connector on the video cable to the camera. Connect the DC connector of the video cable to the cigarette lighter adapter. Insert the cigarette lighter adapter into the cigarette lighter outlet. Press the red button. The monitor lights up. Now it is a HD1 channel. Press the down key to switch to the AHD2 channel. The image appear on the screen. Press the up key to turn off the guideline. Press the up key again to turn on the guideline. Press the up key again to turn off the guideline. The test finished. Now disconnected all the wires. Pick up the camera. Now demonstrate how to install the camera on the seat. The monitor defaults to the rear view. Pass the strap through the camera hole. Fold the strap in half and stick to fix it. Put another strap around the bracket and stick it. First place the camera where you want. Wrap the strap around the pillow. Pass the strap through the camera hole and stick it. Pass the other strap from the bottom through the pillow and wind it down from the top. Fix the camera by sticking the strap. The camera angle can be adjusted flexibly. Now remove the camera. Follow my operation. 
Demonstrate how to install the camera on the rear seat. Pass the strap through the camera hole and stick it. Pass the other strap from the bottom through the pillow and wind it down from the top. The camera angle can be adjusted flexibly. Disconnect the power of the cigarette lighter adapter. Pick up the power cord. Connect the power cord to the monitor. This wire can be powered by ACC, fuse, radio, ignition switch. Red is positive, black is negative. Now unplug the power cord. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. The image appear on the screen. There are three keys sad face. Down, key, M, menu, key, plus, up, key. Press the down key to switch the AHD1 channel. Press the down key again to switch the AHD2 channel. Press the up key to turn on the guideline. You can use the monitor as a reversing. Press the up key again to turn off the guideline. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. The arrow points to the position to indicate the selection. Press the M key to confirm. Press the up or down key to adjust brightness. Press the M key to switch to contrast. Press the up or down key to adjust contrast. Press the M key to switch to sharpness. Press the up or down key to adjust sharpness. Press the M key to return to the previous interface. Press up or down to switch to the second icon. Press the M key to confirm. Press up or down to turn on, off the guidelines. Press the M key to return to the previous interface. Press the M key to switch to the third icon. Press the M key to confirm. You can check the version information of the system. The system automatically exits the menu mode after 3 seconds. When you use it as backup camera system, you can DIY adjust the guideline. Press the up key to turn on the guidelines. Press the M key when the H appear the screen. Press the up or down key to move the guideline to the left or right. Press the M key when the V appear the screen. Press the up or down key to adjust the height of the guideline. Press the M key when the W appear the screen. Press the up or down key to adjust the width of the guideline. Press the M key to enter the menu mode. The system automatically exits the menu mode after 3 seconds. If you do not want the grid lines, you can turn it off. Press the up key to turn off the guideline. When at night, the camera will automatically turn on the IR light. If you don't want the light to turn on, use a tool to cut the thin green line. The IR light will not light up. Use a tool to cut off the outer rubber, do not cut the copper wire. Now merge the cut green thin wires. The IR light lights up. Follow my operation. The display is in mirror mode by default. When you install the camera on the rear seat, you need to switch to the normal mode. Use a tool to cut the thin white wire. Turn off the camera's power and quickly turn on. The monitor automatically switches to the normal image mode. The process of connecting the system to the fuse box wire, ACC wire, radio wire, ignition switch wire. T-TAPS T-TAPS has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole.
camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom, 